and Spielberg. If you had, if you had, I know it's hard to take uh, you know one thing away from him, but it, you know, one thing to share with the class that that really separates him from the other. Great well, if you think players. about it, Steven Spielberg is the only one of his generation to make more than one film. George has made Star Wars for 30 years. Marty <laughs> Scorsese has yeah. made uh, Goodfellas for 30 years. And for the most part, nobody ever walks out of his genre except for Steve. And obviously, Steven set out to make a, a film in every genre. And the only other person who ever did anything like that was me. I mean, from Max's point of view, and I wasn't talking about it, but I always went from a comedy to a drama to a comedy to a drama, and I always tried to find something that was completely different. And Stephen was the only one who knew that I was doing that, because he was doing it. Right. And don't be surprised if he comes out with the greatest American music. Right. Well, I remember people being shocked when he came out with Schindler's List. They were like, whoa, we didn't expect an adult film like that. And, and Empire of the Sun, which was not only about a boy and a prisoner of war camp, but he made the Japanese the heroes. Right. And he was in love, he is in love with American suburbia, the, the tracts of development that dot the landscape all over the country. And he was raised in that world. Um, so he has made them, for the most part, the central heroes of his films. Um, but if you, could, if you could name a genre to Stephen that he hadn't done yet, he'd do it. <laughs> <laughs>